So here it is, a hundred and some degrees outside. We're at the end of July, and who's thinking about anything about planting? Well, we should be, because we've already lost a half hour of daylight, and we need to start thinking about coal crops for the fall. What we've done here on this porch is done gutter gardening. Now here's the cool thing about gutter gardening. Quarter inch hole through the gutter with the solid line, and inside here, look in here, it's a T with drip irrigation. Now, when you turn the water on, look at there, at the root, at the root. Now, we've even taken a T off of here. We've got some one gallon an hour drip up here at the top, and it's like watering these plants here. Now, it goes around, and look, you can do this for seed starting, you can do this for anything else. This is two different types of lettuce. It goes through, same two lines with the drip irrigation at the root, coming through. Look how these babies are coming up. Now here's all our spinach. Here's another whole long trough, solid, with the drip inside of it. Isn't that cool? Now let's go back over here to the gutter. What we do is we just take regular potting mix and we fill the trough up. We fill it up with the gutter with the lines. Look at this. See, look, there's a T, a solid line of T coming through the quarter inch hole. It's perfectly fit. It, it doesn't leak, doesn't do anything. This emits one gallon per minute per six inches, so it doesn't take long, as you can see, to fill up this gutter. So you only got to leave it on for a few seconds. We take the soil, we fill the gutter, we put our seeds in it, and we water from the bottom. Now, if you'll come over here and look, we also have the old style feeder. There's, there's manure tea in here. Remember the manure tea episode we did? All we have to do is turn this on and we're feeding from the bottom up in our troughs. And it goes all the way around the porch, all the way around the deck rail. So all you got to do is make sure that you have plenty of soil and every three or four days turn it on for 20 seconds or so and look how much water you get in there. But look at the babies. These are 10 days old. These are 10 days old, and we've already started to thin these out and put these in other pots. Look, we've got babies coming, we've got babies coming. The spinach is coming up really nice. Three different types here, and we're going to be ready for fall. But August is the time that you need to start doing this. I know it's hot, you're hot, I'm hot, I'm sweating, I'm, I'm tired of the heat, but we've already lost a half hour of daylight, so now it's time to do this. It's time to get thinking about cold crops for the fall. It's time to get the babies up, because look, they don't mind the heat in the beginning. They're coming up and we're going to eat good this summer. I mean, I'm sorry, this winter. <laughs> Sometime. We've taken different types of lettuces, spinach. You can do your onions. You can do whatever you want to do. And this last trough over here, we're going to do the four inch carrots, little stubby four inch carrots. And yes, they grow really nice in here. And maybe some radishes. I've got another one we're going to set up over here on the beginning and maybe start some onions for the fall. Who knows, you can do whatever you want. After they're done, pansies all the way around. Pansies for the winter time. They'll do great in the winter. They're great. They love the cold, and they'll be great here on this porch in the winter time. That's about it. I got nothing else to say about fall crops. <laughs> anyway, it's time to get your stuff up. But here's the thing, come here. A quarter inch drill through the cap quarter inch line and it seals really good. Now these are really cheap. These end caps are like six dollars a set for a left and a right hand. Gutter is five dollars for ten foot. It's very cheap and it's very cheap. Did I say it's cheap? It's very cheap. So we've got several sections around here and we just kind of loop them around. So get your finger caps on, put them on your deck rails, you can get the little angle pieces and put them on the outside of your deck, put your herbs in them, but the big thing is, don't forget your cold crops. Lettuce, spinach, everything. I've got some other pictures that I'm going to put on this on this website after we do this because I've got friends of mine who have done this and they eat romaine. I've had romaine. It will grow in this little 4 inch by 4 inch little trough. It's a great way to save money, great way to have stuff for the winter time. Have a good time. I've got lawn stuff coming up and who knows? Maybe it'll cool off enough for me to stop sweating. I don't know. But we're having fun, so let's go do this. 
All right? Have a good day.